Why is it that so few people are successful? So many people want success, but they're not willing to do the work it takes to get there. So let's talk about this. Why is it? I mean, I, I see this with a lot of the people that I start to work with um, and people who are interested in, in the content that I have is you have these dreams of, oh, I want to have six figures. I want to have seven figure business, whatever it may be. I want to, you know, have do work that's fulfilling for me. But what I've noticed as I talk with you, well, not maybe not you, but lots of people is that they're not spending the time to do the work that's needed for the success, or they have this fantasy. There's a couple of fantasies going on. One is that it's supposed to happen faster than they think. Well, I, I've been at this for six months, so why isn't it working? Did you think it was going to take six months? No, I'm sorry. It's going to take longer than that. For most people, it will. Now, if you work hard, if you put in the hours doing the right things, it could take shorter than six months. It took me shorter than six months, but for most, because I was putting in a lot of hours and I was very tech savvy already, I, I was doing the right things. But for most people, it doesn't take six months. It takes years to get to a full-time income. So let me, be, let me be honest with you where most people won't be honest with you because most people are selling you some kind of a 90-day program to achieve wealth and fame, right? No. Maybe a nine-year program to achieve wealth and fame but not a 90 day program. So let me be honest with you. Whereas everywhere else, you're going to see 90 day programs, 60 day programs, even if it's a one year program to achieve a six figure business with whatever, they're not accurate to most people's experience. Even the ones who do work hard. But in this video, I want to talk, I want to talk to those of you who probably aren't um, it, there's, there was two fantasies I was going to talk about. One is you think it's going to happen faster for you than, than it actually in reality does. Because why? Why do you think it's going to work, work faster? Because people are trying to sell you a program that says 60 days, 90 days, 120 days, one year, whatever it may be. It's anything, anything, less, anything less than two or three years to achieve a full-time income it's not a reality for most people. So you have to have to first understand how am I going to support myself financially while I wait, not wait, but while I work hard for the two, three, five years it takes to achieve, to replace my previous income, to have a full-time income that's sustainable. So how will you? That's a really good question. Will you, will you drive Uber, you know, Will you go work a part-time job? Will you will do whatever you need to do? Will you borrow money from friends and family? You know, not ideal, but some of you might need to do that. All right, so that's the first fantasy is that you think it's, you, you have, you've been sold that it takes fat, that, that it happens fast, when for 90%, 95% of the people, which you are probably in, you say, well, I'm, I'm part of the 5%. Statistic, the st statistically, you're probably not. And I'm probably not even in, in the 5%. You know, um, maybe I'm in the top 10% or top 20%, maybe. But most of us aren't in the top 20%. Most of us, by definition, are in the bottom 80% in terms of smarts, in terms of effort, in terms of character, all that stuff. We're in the bottom 80%. And you have to real. it's okay. It's okay to be in the bottom 80% because that's where most of us are. Do you see what I mean? Don't think you're so special. You're not that special. You know, I mean, yes, you are a child of God and you are the only person in the world who has your own experience. Yes, but in terms of work ethic, in terms of intelligence, we are not that special. We are, you know, we, 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 are, we are part of the 80% probably. Just, I'm talking about statistics and probability here. And if you don't understand that, you're in the, you're in the 80%. Do you see what I mean? So we are in the 80%. I'm there with you probably. Maybe I'm at the top upper end of the, you know, 80% tile. But most of us are there. Okay, that's, you have to realize that. We're going to stop this fantasy, this joke of fantasy. But the other fantasy that, most of you have, which is what puts you in the 80%, is that you think it's supposed to be easy, fun, and light. Let me ask you this. So, so what you are probably doing, you're looking for some system, the ultimate system for selling, the ultimate system for 
building an amazing heart-based business, the ultimate system for a wellness coaching business, the ultimate system for a life coaching business. You're looking for some kind of ultimate system and it does not exist. 10 years, I've been, I've been doing this for 10 years. I've been selling all kinds of systems for 10 years. I've, been, I've known hundreds of colleagues who have sold all kinds of systems for 10 years and that ultimate system does not exist. Let me tell you why it does not exist. Because the ultimate system for an authentic business is one created by you. Otherwise, it would not be authentic to you. You have tried this before. You've bought some system or some program, right? And you say, oh my God, this is the ultimate system. That's what they told me. That's what they sold me. It sounds so persuasive. They have all these testimonials. It's got to be true. So you buy into this ultimate system, which usually costs $2,000 or, or more, or maybe you're lucky and you found the system that costs $200, whatever, whatever it may be. You bought this ultimate system and then you try doing it and you probably don't do it well. So you blame yourself, which is should you shouldn't, but oh, it's I didn't do it right. So let me get some help and do it right. And then you and then you finally do it right. And as you're doing it right, you realize this doesn't resonate with me. It's 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 asking me to do things that aren't fulfilling, that aren't real for me. You see what I mean? So the ultimate system is ultimate from the marketer's perspective because it's a system that he or she created that makes sense for them. But an authentic business, one that feels meaningful to you, doing the, the kinds of marketing things that feel heart-based and true for you, isn't going to come from a system you learn somewhere else, or at least it's not going to be something you apply exactly from somebody else, not even me, not even me. So all the courses you take from me, I hope I say this enough in my courses, and if not, I should say it more often. You've got to apply the stuff in your own way. You've got to make customizations and tweaks. And maybe this is where some of the coaching is helpful, but it's like you, you have to find your own way. You can't just apply everything George Cow says or anybody says. So, so those are two fantasies. One is supposed to be fast. Second, it's, you know, it's supposed to be some ultimate system that you can find. If you could just do enough research to find that ultimate process, then things would be easy, light, and fun. For you to build your business. And so a lot of you, I find yourself, I talk to so many clients and I find that so many people are like this. So many people are like, yeah, I just didn't feel like doing it. Yeah. I just, I just didn't feel like working today because the thing I was going to do didn't feel easy, light, and fun. So therefore it must not be the right thing to do. Let me ask you this question. Is personal growth easy, light, and fun? I'm talking about genuine personal growth. Not, oh, I read a book. Just reading a book might be easy, light, and fun, but you didn't grow. You just read a book. You added some more thoughts to your brain. That's it. But personal growth means stretching beyond what you are already doing. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called growth. It would just be called doing whatever you're already doing, right? The definition of growing, growing beyond your current life, right? Having a life that's different, better than you currently have. That very definition means doing things that you're not already doing. Otherwise, if you're already doing whatever you're already doing, you, you have the life that you already have. So to have a better life, to have a business that works, means to do something different than what you're already doing. And to do something different, to be a different person, to be, to, 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 to be more courageous or to be more wise or to be more diligent, be more patient, to be more um, skillful, in different, different areas means to, to stretch outside of what you're already doing every day. And to stretch is by definition, not easy, light, and fun. Okay, you go to yoga class. Is it easy, light, and fun? Not always, right? Usually it's not like, oh, hold this position for, you know, for a moment. Or <laughs> I'm not a yoga person, so that's probably not a position. <laughs> but, but you see what I mean? It's not but you go to yoga or you go to exercise because there is a deeper fun there. The deeper fun and the deeper meaning is I'm going to become more fit. And you do it because pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. You do this for yoga. You do this for exercise. You do this for 
raising your kids. You do this for, you know, helping your family. Why aren't you applying that same mindset to your business? You think it's supposed to be easy, light, and fun because why? Other people have sold you on the illusion that it's easy, light, and fun. And so you buy their program. You buy their training. You buy their coaching. I'm going to make it so easy, light, and fun for you. It's going to, building your business is just going to be so much fun. It's going to be like fun all the time. It's, it's going to be so easy for you. Well, if it's easy for you, you would have already done it, right? If it was fun for you, you probably would have already been doing it, right? But, but pain is inevitable. Now, let me describe this. Am I having pain all the time? Am I? Well, I'll tell you this. When I was writing the blog post associated, doing writing is still not as easy for me as doing videos and even doing videos on schedule, on time, even doing the videos is, as I've said before, it's not fun. It's not that fun to talk to you. At the beginning, it's not fun. And then once I get over the pain of recording, no matter the doubts. So here's the thing. I have doubts all the time. I have uh, procrastination all the time. I have, I have the uncertainties. I'm not going to, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this video is going to be understood or liked by anybody at all. I, I don't know if my courses are going to sell. I don't know. I don't know. But I do it anyway. And that's the pain. The pain is I don't know if it's going to work. But I'm going to do it in spite of the not knowing if it's going to work. Not knowing if, if, if I'm going to have enough energy to make this video right now. Not knowing if I'm going to know what to say on, on, on camera. The writing is even harder for me because I, I give myself one hour to write a blog post. I'm like, one hour? God, am I going to be able to write a blog post, a thoughtful blog post in an hour? I don't know, but I'm going to do it anyway. And, that, and that's the painful part. But I'm not suffering. I've, I've practiced to go beyond the suffering. I, I know it's going to be painful, but when I find myself suffering, I quickly do my energy reboot, which I may have talked, you may have heard me talk about my energy reboot. It takes me 30 seconds breathe in love, breathe out total security, breathe in, uh, you know, it's, it's eight breaths or four complete breaths, breathe in love, breathe out total security, breathe in love again, breathe out thanks or playfulness. I switch it out on different days and then breathe in the virtue that I'm practicing for the week. You know, for this week, it's joyful discipline. Another week, it might be lightheartedness. It, another week, it might be faith. Another week, it might be uh, compassion. Another week, it might be humility. Another week, it might be uh, joy, but you know it, it's it, or gratitude or whatever. But anyway, these and then and then uh, the final fourth breath is breathing in, breathing in that, uh, breathing in, thinking about the next task, and then breathing out my virtue into that next task. But I do this multiple times a day. Whenever I see myself suffering, when I catch myself suffering, then I I do the energy reboot and I come out of that suffering, and I continue on with the pain. So are you, are you running away from pain? Because that's where the growth is. It's where the stretching, it's where the yoga pose is to hold that for, for a while or whatever it may be. It's not fun, but you're doing it because you know that it's meaningful. You see what I mean? You already do this in other areas of your life. You already get up in the morning, even though it's painful to do so. Right, you have to get up for work or whatever it is you you have to you get up for family or whatever it is you have to do. You already do it, but why aren't you doing that in your business? You, because why? Because other people in business training have sold you that it's easy, light, and fun. It's not. It's painful all the time. It's painful all the time. I mean, it's painful most of the time. Now I'm having a bit of fun with you right now. I'm now it's a bit more fun. But starting this video was not fun. Writing is not fun. Launching my courses is not fun. Now, when, when and starting to teach my course is not fun. Now, when I'm into something, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. You have to create flow for yourself. You can't wait to find flow. You can't wait for the flow to come in in your day and now oh, I'm feeling flow. Now I'm, now I'm ready to work. You can't do that. That's not, how, that's not how professionals do it. Professionals create the flow for themselves. They know that it's going to be painful in the first five minutes to 30 minutes. Writing was painful. Writing this blog post was painful for the first 20 or 30 minutes. But whenever I found myself suffering, but pain, so let me, let me now reframe pain for you, okay? I see life 
as a giant video game. It's, and it might be true, we might be playing the largest multi, multiplayer uh, uh, online role-playing game in the entire universe, you know, or at least in this galaxy. This might, be, this might be a giant video game you and I are playing in these avatars, right? The spirit is playing through the human body. And why are we playing this video game? We're playing this video game because the points that we're racking up is not fame and, and wealth and ease and, and living a life of ease and, and luxury. That's not, that's not, that's not the, that's in fact the distraction of anything. That's not the, the, the racking of the points in the video game. The racking of the points in the video game is experience points. That's what we're racking up. We're racking up experiences that help us more importantly grow in the characteristics. If you've ever played a role-playing game, you know that you're trying to grow in strength. You're trying to grow in, you know, agility. You're trying to grow in these different characteristics of that avatar, right? That's what we're here to do as well. We're trying to grow, we're trying to grow in strength wisdom, uh, compassion, creativity, uh, patience, courage. We're not, we're not growing in more hours of being in luxury and, and fun and, and, and ease, ease of doing life. That's not why we're here in this video game. We're here to grow in strength, creativity, patience, courage, compassion, wisdom. And how do all these things grow? By fighting monsters, by, by going into scary forests, and those are all painful experiences. But when we frame them, just like we're playing a video game, oh my God, I'm about to go fight this big boss on this video game. It's so scary. It's so painful, but, that's, it, but the pain is only on the shallow level. At the deeper level, you're like, this is, this is fun at a deeper level, even though for the avatar, it looks painful, right? For the avatar, it looks like, oh my God, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna fall into this uh, ravine. I'm going to get, you know, um, I'm going to get bounced back by this giant boulder, whatever it may be. The avatar is having some pain, but at a deeper spiritual level, the player is having a lot of fun. The player is like, this is adventure. This is curiosity. This is play. The uncertain, and, and the business is not, you're not going to die if you fail in your business, right? So, so even on a shallow level, the avatar is not going to die by having a failed course launch or by having a failed video or by, or by, or by you know, having no energy to write, but writing anyway, the, the avatar is not going to die, right? But, but it's, it's emotional pain. And that's what I want you to reframe as curiosity, adventure, and fun. In other words, I want you to get back in touch with the spirit. I want you to get back in touch with the player, the player of your body, the player of your life is not this George Cow, this physical flesh, meat body. It's spirit playing the game through me. And if I get in touch with spirit, spirit's like, this is so much fun. There's so much to explore. There's so much to play with to, so that you can grow in strength and courage and patience and creativity and jo joyful diligence, doing it in spite of how uncertain and doubtful and scary and procrastinating that I want to do. I'd rather, of course, right now, I'd rather be sitting on the couch watching Netflix, eating potato chips. That's much easier for me. It's much more easy, light, and fun. But no, I'm here because I promised you I'd be here, okay? So anyway, I hope this is helpful. And as usual, I'm really open to your, uh, your comments and questions. And seeing your comments and questions is genuinely fun, even for the avatar on the shallow level. So um, I'm gonna check, go, and, go ahead and comment below while you're, while you're waiting for me to see what some of the live comments are. And um, I'm seeing the uh, live comments from Kat, thank you, and, and Captain, and um, yeah. So I wish you uh, a good day forward for your avatar, <laughs> but more importantly, for your spirit. I wish your connection to your spirit so that you can play this video game called life with as much courage and creativity and explore exploration and adventure as you possibly can. All right, I wish you well. Take care.